Hi, I'm Nicole, a fitness expert from sparkpeople.com. Today I'll lead you through day seven of our seven day boot camp workout plan. This will be a core workout, so you work through those abs, obliques, and lower back, and you won't need anything except a mat for cushioning. So go ahead and lay down onto your back. And once you're there, we're gonna extend those legs all the way up in line with the hips so they're not lowering towards the floor, they're not up towards the chest. Keep the knees bent a little. I'm gonna cross one ankle in front of the other and reach those hands up. This variation of the crunch, I like to call it climbing a rope. So we're gonna crunch up, reaching towards the ceiling and reaching to the side slightly and then take the other hand over. So think about climbing a rope up or each time you're reaching higher and higher, slightly to the side, exhaling every time you go up. I want to do a few of these as we get warmed up through those abdominal muscles. So stay right here for a little longer. If you really need to, try to use one hand for some light support behind the head and neck. One more set and release it back down. Good. From here, we're gonna move into bicycle crunches. So take those fingertips behind the ears and keep those knees bent. We're gonna lift up and bring your opposite shoulder towards your opposite knee as the other leg extends and then switch sides. So as you can see, I'm starting really slow here, exhaling to twist, inhaling to transition, exhale to twist to the other side. I want you to just relax your head and neck back into your hands and keep your elbows way out to the sides. Really focus on that twist side to side from the waist. Good. We're gonna do a couple more sets like that. <sighs> keep breathing steady. Try to keep those shoulder blades lifted. And now let's take a really quick set. Eight of them, here's eight. Seven, exhale, twist side to side. <sighs> here's four, three, two, last one, and release. Bring those knees back in, drop the head and neck. I'm gonna bend my right knee, placing the foot flat to the floor. Extend that left leg up in line with the hip. Take your left arm behind the head and neck for support and reach the right arm towards the ceiling. From here, engage those abs, lift up and reach towards that toe. Then we're gonna lower the arm and the leg out. Exhale to crunch back up and reach towards the toe. So we exhale to lift and inhale to release. Work through your own range of motion here. We've got about four more. And you don't have to lower that leg all the way towards the floor. Go as far as you're comfortable without allowing your back to arch. Here's our last one. Exhale, really reach and release. I want you to bend the knee, switch the hands behind the head and neck, take the right leg up and hand up. Exhale, reach towards it. Inhale, extend out. Exhale to lift. Inhale down. Keep those abs pulled in, your lower back really pushed flat to that floor underneath you. And your head relaxed back into your hand overhead. We've got three more of these. Exhale, reach for two. And here's our last one, all the way up and release down. Take your foot back down, relax the head and neck. From here, we're gonna extend those legs up once again. I'm just gonna keep my hands up here for now for another option. Keeping your back flat, glued to that floor. You're gonna inhale and lower your legs away as far as you can before your back starts to arch up. And then exhale to slowly bring it back up in line with the hips. So squeeze those legs together. And this doesn't have to be a big movement. Really focus on that lower back and pushing it as flat as you can for added intensity if you would like. Just float that head and neck up so the shoulder blades are lifted off of the floor so you're working a little harder here, and that's optional. You can stay flat on your back or try this version. We're gonna try two more. Inhale, lower down, exhale up. Last one, all the way back up, and hug those knees in towards your chest, relax down. From here, I'm just gonna roll over onto one side. It doesn't matter which side you're starting on. And I'm gonna move into a side plank position. Elbow directly underneath that shoulder. You can go with your knees bent as you lift. This is the easiest. Your legs staggered as you lift. That's a middle level. Your feet stacked as you lift is the hardest, all right? So pick your level. 
elbow directly underneath that shoulder. We're gonna lift up into a side plank and hold. Pull those abs in and reach that hip towards the ceiling. I want you to do your best to hold, rest only when you need to. For added challenge, we'll add a crunch at the top. Exhaling to bring your elbow towards the floor and inhaling to reach up. We're gonna aim for eight of these. Do what you can, and even if you can't add this element, you can try to hold yourself up in your plank like you're bringing your top hip towards the ceiling and lifting your bottom hip away from the floor. Either way, you're breathing slowly and steady. One more time, all the way back up and drop those hips. We're gonna switch to the opposite side. So placing your elbow directly underneath the shoulder, knees bent, feet staggered or feet stacked. As soon as you feel ready, top hip up towards the ceiling, abs engaged. Lift it up there and hold. Make sure you're breathing. If you wanna add that challenge, take the arm up. Exhale to crunch down and inhale to bring back up to that start position. <sighs> Keeping those abs pulled in really tight, never holding your breath here. If you feel like you're getting fatigued or you can't hold yourself up, just drop down to your hip to rest. Three more. <sighs> Exhale down for two. Keep those hips up one more time. And all the way back up, release, good. From here, we're gonna flip over onto our stomachs to do another variation of the plank. I'm gonna place the elbows under the shoulders. I like to clasp the hands together so the forearms are down on the floor in front of you. Go ahead and curl those toes under as we get ready to lift up. Your modification here is to just lift to the knees, but if you're strong enough, we'll lift up to the toes. So our goal is to hold, only resting on the knees if you need a break. So to add challenge to this one, I want you to pike your hips up towards the ceiling and then bring yourself back down to your plank. So exhale, reach up and inhale, bring it back down. Make sure the whole time you're pulling that navel in towards your spine to help protect your back. If this variation is too challenging or it's uncomfortable for you, just work at holding your plank there at the center. We'll try it just two more times. And last one, keep breathing all the way back down. Good, relax your hips to the floor. And we'll get ready to work that lower back really quick before we finish up with our stretches. So let's relax the head and chest down. Place your fingertips behind the ears or the neck. Exhale to lift up away from the floor with your chest and inhale to lower. Just enough to engage that lower back and feel those opposing muscles to the abs right here working a little bit, which you want to try to do every time you also work the abs. Let's just try three more. Keep the head and neck in line with the spine. This is two. And one more time, lift it up. Let's hold right here. As high as you can lift that chest away from the floor. Breathe steady. Give me eight little pulses a little higher. Exhale as you lift up. Here's four, three, two, one more time all the way up and slowly release. All right, we're gonna finish up with some stretches. I want you to start by placing your hands underneath the shoulders, your legs extended out. We're gonna push up away from the floor, extending through the arms and the legs. Think about pulling your shoulders away from your ears, looking towards the ceiling a little bit if you can. Relax those abdominals. And from here, we'll shift into hands and knees and come all the way back over those heels, reaching through the arms and shifting your weight over the heels, relaxing the head and neck. Slow, deep breath. From here, we'll walk our left hand over towards the right hand for a deeper stretch through the left side of the waist and those obliques that we worked with those side planks and bicycle crunches. And release it back out. Right hand, reach it towards the left. Just let that body relax. Reach it forward one more time. From here, I want you to take your left hand, thread it underneath your right arm and slightly twist to that side. Still taking your weight over your heels and release it back out. Reach forward, right hand under the left arm and twist. This is our last stretch. We'll bring it forward one more time. Reach a little further out in front of you. And as soon as you feel ready, begin to slowly roll that spine up as those hands slide in along your mat. Lift the head, draw the shoulders down and back. All right, you've just finished day seven of your seven day boot camp workout plan. For more fitness ideas, be sure to visit sparkpeople.com.